Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm going to be doing a ride today, checking out some courthouses and state parks. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle Raising money, making friends Seeing the country into it and Lone Star Rider Yeah, I'm starting out here in Jefferson, Texas and uh, stayed at this uh, old Y.O. Uh, hotel, which was uh, pretty cheap. And I didn't camp out because it was raining. <laughs> I've been in this hotel because it's been raining for a couple of days. Um, just don't like to ride in the rain. Yeah. I'll be headed north from here. I'm here in northeast Texas uh, catching up on my courthouses. I've been uh, checking out courthouses all through the state of Texas, and I've got about a little over 200 in and uh, also I've been hitting all the state parks and I'm almost done with that I got like about 10 more to go and you may ask why I'm doing this because it's fun I get to ride I get to check out Texas I get to hit all the counties in the state of Texas um, a lot of these uh, small towns are pretty cool howdy y'all on Star Rider here I'm here at Dangerfield State Park Guys, this is an awesome park. It's very beautiful. Of course, I'm here in the fall uh, where the leaves are changing and everything. Very, very cool. Uh, I'm not staying here tonight, uh, but I am coming back and staying in this park because it's just beautiful. Uh, the lake out there and the whole bit. Catch you on the road here at Dangerfield State Park. circle. I've never seen a railroad track in the middle of a traffic circle. <laughs>
still in Dangerfield, Texas, even though danger is spelled with an I. I thought D-A-N-G-E-R was danger. <laughs> uh, this building right here uh, in 1882 was built. It is a courthouse here. And it's not a courthouse anymore. It's the city hall. I even saw a cat in there uh, through the glass windows. That's kind of was strange. But when I was looking through the glass windows, it looks like a courthouse. And it's pretty cool. I was doing some search on the internet. And that's how I found this. And when I was riding through here earlier, that looked like a courthouse. But it is not anymore. And they uh, restored it. And now it's the city hall municipal building. That's what it says on the window over there. But I don't see no historical markers here. There needs to be a historical marker here for this. Um, so people will know <laughs> that this used to be the county courthouse. Uh, the new county courthouse, eh, it's okay. It's a metal building. It's all right. Anyhow, I'm going to continue on to the next courthouse. I'm going to stop in Lone Star, Texas first and uh, check that out and then continue on to the next courthouse. And that will probably be my last one for the day. And then I'll continue tomorrow. Star Rider here. I'm here at the Lone Star City Limits sign and I'm gonna go in and see what's all here at Lone Star. I mean after all when they name a uh, town after you you gotta check it out. much going on here in Lone Star, Texas. It might be if it was named Lone Star Rider, Texas. But I'm here at the uh, fire department, the uh, city hall, and the police department. Well, the police department has an unmarked, almost unmarked ve vehicle. It has the light bar on top, and it has this command center, Lone Star PD there, LSPD command center, which is a a Hummer. Looks like there's a camper on it. <laughs> I guess this little town needs a command center. Uh, the Lake of the Pines is just over that way on the other side of those trees. <laughs>
Howdy y'all, Lone Star Roddy here. I'm here in Gilmer. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Uh, in Upshur County at the Upshur County Courthouse. And I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce Upshur. We'll find out. <laughs> I have to ask. I came here on a long day to take pictures of this courthouse because they got some kind of a uh, a fair or something going on i'll show it to you uh, i'm going to continue to take some photos of the courthouse and then i'll s look at the fair might get something to eat i'm kind of hungry sign said that San Houston spoke here. <laughs> I guess if you had a whole bunch of times he spoke all around Texas, I guess you'd have to have a whole lot of signs, but this is the first one I've seen. We got bubbles. Now we've got Coke in the eye barbecue, some axe throwing. I've seen uh, several of these uh, axe throwing uh, trailers. Cozy, nasty coffee, <laughs> in my opinion. Well, I just asked about how to pronounce the county. It is Upshur, and Gilmer is the, uh, how you pronounce the town. So this is called a Fall Fest, uh, supported by the Credit Union of Texas. Got a band out here. They've got all kinds of stuff, neat stuff out here. They got a uh, another historical sign here called Looney School. I wonder if that's for Looney Tunes. <laughs> I know it's not. Well, this is quite interesting. This bell was rang every day at 6 o'clock p.m. to uh, let everybody know it was time for closing all the businesses. To call the fire department and the citizens together when needed and all other momentous, is that how you say that? Occasions including the end of war war well this isn't this saying how do y'all come on in it says gunpowder and glitter ae so what you selling got women's clothing <laughs> women's clothing yes you ain't got nothing for me no, no. dead gum nothing for me in here i'm all disappointed now <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> You can even ride the bull out here. Well, this is a pretty interesting stop. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to stop here or go up to Pittsburgh and, and then uh, maybe stop there. It's already 3 o'clock. I might try to find a place to stay. Uh, I'll let you know. Well, I can't find anything really to stay, and I really don't want to stay in the trailer tonight, so I'm going to up to Mount Pleasant looks like there's a, a couple places up there that are in my price range uh, which is in between 50 and 60 dollars uh, this one is just a little bit over 60 about 65 so that should be cool all right let's go on I gotta stop in Pittsburgh for the uh, courthouse there I'm crazy over courthouses well I had to turn around for this one Saw this out of the corner of my eyes. Pond has a bunch of ducks in it. I don't know where they went. Oh, they're over there on the other side. Um, the tractors and the sprinklers are what attracted my uh, attention. Looks like they got some mushrooms over here. Yep, some mushrooms. <laughs> uh, this is some kind of orchard. I'm going to have to go check that part out. Big bobber. Looks like it says Eford, Eford, Orchards. Let's uh, go check this out. The inside here looks pretty cool too. Attention, no running for the safety of all. Wow, almost looks like an antique shop. Got this half boat wagon here. I 
guess this is ice cream. So they got peach ice cream it says so up there. Lots of pumpkins. All kinds of neat stuff in here. How you pronounce the name of this place? Eford. Eford. I said it right. What do you know? <laughs> How long has this place been here? 72. 72. Well, the tractors work, by the way, the sprinklers. Here's the uh, different flavors of ice cream. Eford's homemade ice cream. I don't know if I consider that homemade. <laughs> they got a stagecoach in here. Why am I surprised? Well, this was a uh, very cool, unscheduled stop. <laughs> I love this stuff. All right, I'm headed over to uh, Pitts Pittsburgh, Texas. Looks like they also have a basement. Yep, they have a basement. There's cornerstone. It looks like they got some construction going on on the building next door. All right, I'm headed over to Mount Pleasant. I'll catch the courthouse there. And uh, I will be stopping there for tonight. And then I'll continue the video tomorrow. Well, it looks like they're adding on to the building. Must be running out of room. Had to stop and get gas here at this Phillips 66. Cost me two dollars and eighty-seven cents a gallon. Howdy, y'all! Lone Star Rider right here. I'm here in Mount Pleasant at the what courthouse is this? <laughs> I forget. Hate when I do that. I'm here at Titus County Courthouse. I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation. <laughs> Titus. I think it is. Hope so. There's the courthouse. Kind of a plain Jane one. I'm sure it looks nicer on the inside, but we can't go inside because it's on a Saturday. And we're not open. Anyway, let's check this courthouse out and get a few pictures in. sunset coming up. Have to check that out. Got a historical marker here and also a marker for the historic Bankhead Highway BH. Um, I've rode some of this over there by uh, Mineral Wells. Um, one of these days maybe I'll ride the whole thing. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be a pretty nice sunset going on here. We got a really nice uh, veterans memorial over here. Well, they also have a place where you can deposit your flags properly. This is the second box I've seen like this. That is awesome. This is a pretty darn cool mural they have here. Really nice Confederate memorial. Glad they haven't tore that one down. Can't erase history by tearing down memorials. Well, ah. the Titus Courthouse and the Courthouse in Pittsburgh are only about 11 
to 12 miles apart. This is pretty darn close for the, the two courthouses. I don't know why they just didn't put these two counties together. Um, also, this area in Northeast Texas right here, uh, all these court, all these counties are small. So made it easy to hit four in uh, one day <laughs> because they weren't that far apart. You gotta find me a room and a place to eat because I am starving. I've only ate breakfast today. And what is this, my fourth courthouse today? That might be a record. <laughs> all right, I'll let you know where I end up. Well, I got my room all set up and I'm having dinner at Applebee's. And I might have a margarita. Supposed to have dollar margaritas, I think. Or they used to anyway. Catch you on the road tomorrow here in Mount Pleasant, Texas. Well, the uh, stay here at the Super 8 in Mount Pleasant was pretty cool. And the courthouses that I've hit were uh, also, well, except for one, <laughs> were pretty cool. And the state park in Dangerfield. Uh, got two courthouses I'll be hitting today, and then I'm going to, might hit the last, uh, Motorcycle Grand Tour stop in uh, Elmo, Elmo, Texas. Yeah, there's an Elmo, Texas. <laughs> I gotta get some breakfast or lunch or something. Gotta eat. Was I not recording the whole time? <phone rings> Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here in Mount Vernon, Texas at the Franklin County Courthouse. <music> This courthouse is not built in the middle of the square here in downtown. It's built on the northeast corner of the downtown square, which is pretty cool. There's a This courthouse is a very beautiful courthouse. I'm sure it looks great on the inside. It's Sunday and I won't be able to go inside. Um, but I'm sure it was I'm sure it's pretty cool. The this is the uh, Franklin County Courthouse historical marker. And it's got a lot of good information. So if you ever hear, read it, especially about the controversy uh, to build this uh, courthouse. This courthouse looks pretty cool on the inside. May have to come back and check out the uh, inside here. I thought this was interesting. Around the uh, square, the parking spots are uh, numbered off. Maybe that's for festivals and stuff. The uh, road coming in and out here on uh, FM 37 is right against the courthouse. And this is the uh, county jail. Yeah, the windows have uh, some pretty thick bars on it. Uh, but I really, really, really like that courthouse and have to put it on one of my favorites list. Do I have a favorites list? Not really. <laughs> But it is. So let's head over to uh, Cooper, to uh, Delta County, and check that out. Uh, this is just a pretty much square building that's uh, three levels with a basement. And it's not on the square. It's off to the side. Delta County. Saw this rock-looking thing here and then figured out it's not a rock. <laughs> Here's the back side of the courthouse, which looks like the front side. And if I remember right, I think this courthouse needs some uh, little bit of TLC. I'm headed over to Sulphur Springs. I don't know if, if I find something to eat around here, I'll uh, get something to eat. I haven't had breakfast or lunch and it's already getting close to one. And I'm getting hungry. Uh, the Cowboys play today at 325. 
So I need to find a place to watch the cowboy game. Yeah, that's what's going on today. <laughs> Not too much. So uh, we're uh, we're gonna look around here, see if there's something to eat. If not, I'm gonna head down to Sulphur Springs and I know there's places to eat there. So let's get on down the road. Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here in Sulphur Springs, Texas at Hopkins County. Now I've already done this courthouse there, but I just wanted to make a quick stop to show you that Sulphur Spring is actually gorgeous and uh, there's something really unique uh, to this square besides the courthouse being off on the corner of the square is that uh, it has these uh, bathrooms here in the square and they're made out of mirrored glass and you can only see one way through it which is inside so nobody can see you inside peeing or taking a poop <laughs> uh, let's take a look at it Yep, here they are. There's uh, just a little glass, small building, and there's two of them. There's one over there and one over here. And you cannot see outside. Let's see if there's anybody in here. Oh, nobody's in here. Let's open it. So you got a bathroom in here, and you can see outside. <laughs> So if you need to take a pee uh, out here, nobody can see you. And even the, the roof is made out of glass. So it's a, a small glass building that is a bathroom. Let's see when that closes. Cannot see inside. Now, I have a video on the courthouse I believe and I know I have a video on the square and the bathrooms here and I'll put that up in the uh, corner and also down in the description where you can find that I thought it was pretty unique and pretty pretty cool uh, especially this uh, this square in the town of Sulphur Springs they, they also got a huge ch chest board over there with chess pieces right. and they also have checkers a checkerboard over there so you play checkers out of here uh with the big things <laughs> they also have a really cool veterans memorial right there and that's also in that video all right it's time to go find a place to eat the place i wanted to go to is closed today so find another place <laughs> a sweet and sour burger pretty darn good. Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here at the Whataburger in Sulphur Springs. Always do a low cost meal and then a, a more healthier meal um, later in the day. Sometimes I reverse them, sometimes I don't. I got a couple things to say about Whataburger. Whataburger is my favorite burger joint for fast food and my favorite burger at Whataburger is the green chili burger. Now, they put hatch, green hatch chili on the burger, but you can only get them from Abilene on West. All those Whataburgers, they're permanently on the menu. You cannot get them east of Abilene. Whataburger, if you're seeing this, you need to put it permanently on all the Whataburgers. It's the best burger you make, and you don't have it at all your water burgers. Don't understand. And y'all got me hooked on it in the first place. The second thing about water burger, and I know these are just my pet peeves, but if you order a meal and you uh, you want the small meal, they charge the same price as the medium meal. But if you order a large meal, they charge you more. That's not right. I would rather just have the small meal and not have as many fries because I really don't need to eat them. And yeah, I don't have to eat them all. That means I'm paying for something that I'm not getting. I'm paying for a bigger meal and getting a small meal. 
Otherwise, Whataburger's awesome. And then I got to find a place to watch the Cowboys later. Yep, good burger. Well, I found me a uh, decent price hotel. Guys, weed eating over there at the uh, Quality Inn here in Sulphur Springs. And the game's going to start here in about 15 minutes. Get uh, all checked in and find the game on the TV. Um, Y'all guys let me know if you like this kind of uh, format that I'm doing. It's something I uh, knew I'm trying instead of uh, chopping all these things up and throwing them up at one at a time. I don't know you might like it, might not.